Rising stars of Australian cycling with 20 seconds to go before they get started. The whistle is ready to get them going. Before we start with the under 23s racing for the green and gold in the criterion. Five, four, three. Oh, the whistle's gone early. Beating the garden. The commissaires are keen to get underway today. The boys are underway, and as you can imagine, they have gone straight into that top corner with a lot of pace. It's a long way from the bottom corner to the finish line. Caleb Ewan in amongst the mix. It's still Sam Spokes who is leading the charge. In the yellow colours, it's Luke Parker who leads them out. Parker it is who's on the front. As we look to the right, with Caleb Ewan coming up the inside, it's the New South Welshman. Caleb Ewan takes the win. It's Alex Waller in third position, and it was McCarthy in second. In the under-23 Criterium Championship of Australia, John Layton once again, the Vice President of Cycling Australia, joined now by Councillor Amy Johnson from the City of Ballarat. Starting with the medals to be presented by John Layton in third place from Queensland, the budget for this colours, it's Alex Waller. In second place and collecting the silver medal from South Australia, it is Robert McCarthy. Uh, the winner and the new Australian under 23 men's criterium champion from New South Wales, Caleb Ewan. Presently panning for gold in Ballarat. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Australia. Caleb, okay, congratulations. The, the word is this morning you said you weren't going to have a crack tonight. Uh, take it easy before the road race. Change of mind, perhaps? Or can a good cyclist not be helped? Uh, it, it wasn't that. Uh, it was more if, if something happened like last year, I wasn't going to go too too far into my reserves to try to bring it back into the race. And, sure. and the race actually planned out just how I wanted it to, so it ended up working out perfectly. It looked like a, a, an ideal sprinter's race in that you didn't have to put your nose to the wind until the last possible moment. Yeah, I mean, it was perfect. So Obviously, yeah, I came here with no team, so it was uh, perfect that the Avanti team chased back with that break, and, and it was perfect that they weren't in it. So I knew once they weren't in the break that that they would have to bring it back, same with my gym, they both have quite big sprints in the team. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to tell because there's so many good riders in under 23s and there's a lot of good hill climbers and I'm not really known to be a great hill climber but it's a, I don't know if you can call it like a pure hill climbers course because we have seen sprinters get around it and it's a 3k climb with a, a quite a long descent so there's lots of recovery as well so it all depends on how, how the race is actually raced, not really what the course is like.